At long last, we had defeated Alias, and our journey was at an end. We'd been through so much together over the course of our adventure. We'd laughed, we'd cried, we'd met some new friends, and bid others farewell. Grandad, were you watching? We did it! The future of football is secure! Now we can play football for fun again, the way it's meant to be played. Now the real adventure begins. I hope you'll carry on watching over us, Grandad, wherever you are. Chapter 10, Inner Zuma 11 Forever! That's right, we get a whole chapter for celebrations. Nice, isn't it? Well, it looks like Alias's HQ is completely destroyed. So we can't go back there now, despite what I said a few episodes ago. Yes, and the explosion will hopefully have vaporised the alias crystal into the bargain. That's, by the way, why you have to recruit Genesis players in this bloody forest. You can't go to Alias HQ anymore. This really is the end, then. It's all over. But that means all of Alias's precious data has gone up in smoke as well. We could have used it to find out who they were working with. No, this is how it should be. No records of Alias should remain. Sis. Uh, hey, Big Brother, what's bothering you? You've got a face like a wet weekend. Huh? Oh, I was just wondering who could have activated the self-destruct system. Shilla had already been arrested. Who could it have been? Oh, come on, Jude. Are you really worrying about that now? We finally beat Alias. Give me a smile. I know you can do it. Squeeze. Force a smile out. <laughs> you just called him Sheila. Stop pulling my cheeks. That's so out of character. Oh, I've seen everything. Jude Sharp pulling funny faces. <laughs> well, we've beaten Alias Academy. I suppose this means it's time to go home. You're right. I suppose we all have people waiting for us. We all knew this day would come, but it doesn't make it any easier. Yeah, I suppose hanging around with you lot was pretty alright. Huh? What was that, Scotty? N nothing Look, little Scotty's blushing. Red really is your colour. <laughs> Shut your trap, wall side, you big lunk. Pushes him into a river just over a slight compliment. Hey, I've got an idea. Before we all go on our separate ways, how about a final stop at Ryman? You know, for old times' sake. You want to go back to Ryman now? Yeah, we haven't had many chances to play for fun on this trip, have we? I thought we could have a nice kick about and just enjoy ourselves for once. Hey, that's a great idea. Let's do it, Mark. A kickabout back at Ryman, eh? I hope Kevin and the other lads are well enough to join in. Yeah, we need to let them know that we finally beat Alias as well. I mean, they were probably watching on TV, mate. It must be time for them to leave hospital by now, right? They'll be itching to play football again. Including Steve, yes. Alright, you lot. The bus is ready. It's time to get going. Oh, and the governor called. He wants us to stop by the pitch at Ryman when we get back. Well, it's been decided for us then. <laughs> it's party time. I hope there's a mountain of cake and a lake of fizzy pop and a glacier of ice cream. Mm. You are meant to be a footballer, mate. You're supposed to keep some level of shape and figure. <laughs> Listen, Zabier and I have to go. Huh? But why? Sorry, Mark. We have to make up for all the bad things we've done. B but come on. We can't just leave all those alias students in the lurch. They need a place to stay, somewhere they can be happy. We have to do our best to give them that. Coach Lena. Thank you, Evans. Thank you, everyone. I'll never forget my time with you. Mark, you're a truly inspirational leader. 
Don't go changing, you hear? That's an order. Yes, coach. I had so much fun playing football with all of you. I'm sure this isn't the final goodbye. As long as we keep playing football, we're bound to meet again someday, right? Of course, we've played football together. We've shared something. No matter how far apart we are, we'll always be connected. I'm sure we'll be seeing you again soon. <laughs> well, I'd better concentrate on getting match fit then. Next time we meet, we'll play again. And this time, I'm going to win. You're on. Don't expect us to go easy on you, though. Haha. <laughs> hey, did anyone else hear that? Coach Lena laughed out loud. Lena, there's a car waiting for you. It's time you got going. You're right. This must be as hard for you as it is for the children, but it can't be helped. Just remember what Mark said. You're not alone anymore. You'll always have the team. You're right. Thank you for everything, Coach Hillman. Well then, Ryman, I suppose this is it. Goodbye, you lot. And also goodbye to the random villain antagonist who's just been mixed into our party. Obviously, Xavier's a perfectly good guy, but it was a little bit jarring to see him amongst us. Off they go. Mark, are you okay? Right then, it's time to head back to good old Inazuma town. Time to let Nathan and the others know that we won. Hey, let's get going. I can't wait to see Kevin and the rest. And Julia will be so happy. So the first thing we need to do when we get back is go to Ryman. We can let Nathan and everyone know the good news after we've spoken to the governor. But not without quickly popping to go see my favourite NPCs in the game. Hey, Kath, wanna go to the hot springs with me? Oh. Oh, but if you insist, I might come for a foot bath. Hey! I love that they changed that line of dialogue at the end. She goes for a foot bath. Are you ready to head home, children? Sure. Your wish is my command. Let's get going. And we have to pick it. Might as well have just gone there the normal way. I went to a Hime. Anyway, let's get on the bus and go to Ryman then. Hey, so what are those dudes we're visiting in hospital like? They're all pretty laid back, right? Well, I wouldn't call Nathan laid back. Amazing, the two of them have never met. Imagine that. Oh, that's right, you've never met Nathan and the others, have you, Hurley? Just a sec, I've got a photo of when we won the football frontier here somewhere. Um, I'm going to slip away too, because Mark's at the back of the bus on his own. I swore I brought it with me. Um, um, this would be a Sylvia scene in Blizzard. Here it is. Mark, you can... Huh? What's up, Nelly? Well, you remember there was something I wanted to tell you once we defeated... Uh, when was this? You don't remember? Oh, typical. Uh, well, anyway, um, what I wanted to say was, uh, for a long time now, I... How do you want to interrupt the scene? Just scream and fall towards them. You really blown it this time, Scotty. It was wall side, he pushed me. Oh, and just when things were getting interesting as well. Nice one, you two. Y you were all listening? <laughs> Sorry, Mark. Sorry, you two. I told him to knock it off. Uh, anyway, what were you saying, Nelly? Um, well, uh... Alright, 
here we are, in Azuma Town. And that ended that conversation! <laughs> Sorry, Nelly, maybe you'll get your chance in another game. <laughs> I suppose it's going to take a while for him to realise how I feel. I know what you mean, but that's Mark for you. Never mind, Nelly, as always next time, I... Uh, uh, you'll get your chance one day. <laughs> I suppose so. And now I think we're pretty much done with version exclusive scenes, so we're basically LPing Blizzard and Firestorm from here on out. And the Ryman Eleven have been greeted at our very doorstep. Even me mum's come. Mum! At least, yep, you're getting a hog straight away. I'm not so tight, I can't breathe. Let go, will you? Ugh. Oh, he may have saved the world, but he still can't handle his mum. Oh, talk down to him. Ah, you're still up and about, I see. Of course we are. The lads be alias. We have to celebrate. Prime Minister Vanguard was on telly just announcing your victory. He said that without you, the world would have been doomed. Woohoo! <laughs> Can you sign my face? Over here. <laughs> What do you look like without your goggles on? Don't touch those. They're treating us like heroes. This is a teeny bit awkward. They're all saying we saved the world. We still don't feel real somehow. I mean, we just did what we could to save the game of football, that's all. Hmm, <laughs> that sounds just like something Dave might have said. You're not wrong. Your grandfather would have been proud of you, Mark. Seymour. The other Inazuma veterans are waiting. You should pay them a visit. All right, I'll go see them now. I'll ca You act like Coach Hillman's been on this entire journey with us. He hasn't even left Ryman. He's just been researching from the comfort of his own home. I don't know why he's got any catching up to do. Anyway, sorry, Mum. We've got to get to the school first. We even have to walk there manually. So, I'll just have a... A wander around here, see if there's anything worth reading. Just standard congratulations, so we're gonna head straight to Ryman. Governor, we're back! Huh? There's no one here. What's he doing asking us to come here and then not even bothering to show up? Cheeky so and so. Where's the party? Where are the mountains of cake? My ice cream glacier! <laughs> <laughs> it's eerily quiet. It's as if there's nobody here at all. Mark, let's see if there's anyone around. Alright, we have to go find them ourselves. Well, we can see on the top screen that there's somebody in front of the school. Ah, hello children. Good to see you all back. Sir, someone is here after all. We were really worried. We thought everyone had disappeared into thin air. Where's everyone gone, sir? Oh, we didn't mean to alarm you. It's just that the repairs are going to take a lot longer than we'd initially hoped. We decided it was best to send the students home until the school was completely ready. Oh, that explains it. Oh, and Nelly, the Governor would like to speak to you. Something about organising a party. Celia, Sylvia, you should come along too. Follow me, girls. Let's talk about organising a party in front of the faces of the boys. Not meant to be a surprise, is it? In the meantime, we're going to head to the hospital to see our injured lads. So yes, to answer the series-wide commented question, where is Steve? He's at the damn hospital! <laughs> and we're gonna go see him. After reading a few blog posts about... Hey up! Jack fancies Coach Lena. What a twist at the end! That's the main plot twist of Inazuma 11. Not the aliens turning out to be humans. Not Genesis being unaffected by the alias Crystal. Not Coach Lena being Astrum Schiller's daughter, 
No, the, the main twist is that Jack fancied Coach Lena as soon as she started smiling. Right, let's go and see the lads. Axel? Julia! Julia, are you sure you're well enough to be walking around like this? Yes, Axel. That scruffy looking policeman told me everything. You mean Detective Smith? He said you thought really hard to protect me from all the baddies. So I thought really hard too. I wanted to become well enough to come and meet you. Julia. Thank you, Axel. Axel, man. Let's give them a moment alone, Hurley. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Axel. Hey, you lot, we're back! Huh? Where is everyone? The beds are still warm. They must have just left. Hmm, let me think. Well, if I were them, I'd be eating cake! No, oh, I thought he was just going to say something serious, so I made up my own joke. No, he said, I'd be in the loo! Are you here, lads? Hey, who do you think you are, boiling at the top of your voice like that in a hospital? Um, sorry, doctor, please have a voice acted line. You don't happen to know where the kids from this room went, do you? Oh, that lot? They're down by the river doing some physio, I think. Physio? Why would they go all the way to the river for that? Remember, this is the doctor which made me bawl with laughter at the first episode of the project when he brought out the strongest Scottish accent in history. It doesn't seem like he's going to say anything here, unfortunately. She's a fighter like me. She's doing fine. It seems like everyone is on the mend. Well then, let's head to the river. I know a great way to help them get better even quicker. Hmm, let me guess. It involves football. Well, a good kick around with all of us will be the quickest way to get a match fit again, won't it? Ha, huh, I guess you're right, Mark. Come on, let's get a move on. It's finally time for the team to play together again. soon so that I can go and support Axel. Meanwhile, in front of the Parliament building... I wonder if that's based on a real building in Japan. Victoria should be arriving soon, Mr. Prime Minister. Ah, splendid, thank you. It's been quite a while since we've seen you this happy, sir. I'm being reunited with my dearest darling daughter. What father wouldn't be over the moon? And to think, she really did manage to defeat Alias. She's become a most impressive young lady, hasn't she? Yes, indeed. She's really grown up. It happened so fast. It's bittersweet. Ah! W what is it? <laughs> Who are you? You always were too stupid to grasp our ideals, to understand what we were trying to achieve. It's you, the thugs who abducted me in Nara. You have interfered with our plans once too often. It's time to remove you from the picture once and for all. No, Victoria! Victoria! 